What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another episode of commentary. <coughs> Ty vs. Crash, we are almost caught up everyone, yay! We're catching up. All we have left after this is Hihachi vs. Krillin, and then we'll be caught up, and then we can do a commentary a couple days or the day after a new episode comes out. Because next is Stitch vs. Toothless. Alright. So far, like, every other episode hasn't been as successful as, like, some of the other ones. Like, Jin vs. Ryu, that was successful. Rayman vs. Spyro, not so much. Danny vs. Jake, that was successful. This one, not so much. And then Krillin vs. Hihachi was successful. Hopefully, Stitch vs. Toothless will be too. Please. I have a feeling that it's not going to be. But I really hope it is because I actually really like the script for that one. There's no cringeworthy moments. And the jokes are really good, I think, in my opinion. I don't know, it all depends on execution and how it's done, like in the final product. But I feel like it'll be done well. So I'm not worried one bit. I guess the deal with Crash versus uh Ty and then Rayman versus Spyro is those are characters that people like, but not really characters meant for versus debates like they are funny characters but they're not meant to be like super strong or powerful to be put in versus debates like when you think of strong people you think of like goku and superman the first thing that does the first thing that pops to your mind probably isn't rayman or spyro or crash or anyone like that and this is our shortest episode because i barely had any material to work with I mean, both these guys have, like, plenty of content in their games, like, story-wise, and how much games there are on their series, all that. They both have plenty of content that way. But I'm just talking about, like, abilities and armory, because they just have standard platforming abilities, and then just their weapons, and that's pretty much it. They don't have any crazy weaknesses, they don't have any other crazy, like, super forms or powers or transformations or anything like that. Or, like, magical elements to them. They're just people with weapons. Not that much material. Oh, there's the cringeworthy part. I'm going to pretend he never did that too, Hira. Or I never did that. Why did I think that would be funny? Oh no, what if the jerks that I think are funny in Stitch vs. Toothless end up not being funny? No, 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 they're funny. Trust me, trust me. I, I actually can't wait. That's... I'm actually really excited for the episode, but no, we're talking about Ty vs. Crash. This one felt more like filler than anything, because Krillin vs. Hayachi is like, was like the, the big one I was looking forward to. I was like, you know what, this this is going to be pretty good. Krillin vs. Hayachi is going to be pretty good. So I needed some filler though, because we our first episode was Jin vs. Ryu, another Tekken character. So I was thinking, you know, we, we should wait a few episodes before doing Hayachi. So I thought of Rayman vs. Spyro, Danny vs. Jake, I was like, oh, people are going to like Danny vs. Jake, because people love Danny Phantom, and I, they'll love to see him beat Jake, but <laughs> I did research, and <laughs> we all know how that came out. <laughs> and then this is more filler. So, basically, Jin vs. Ryu, and then Hihachi vs. Krillin are only, like, super duper mega successful episodes, because, I mean... While Danny vs. Jake did get a lot of views, no one really liked it. <laughs> and we're already at Crash's analysis, because this is so short, little material. I feel like people like Stitch vs. Toothless, though, because lots of people like both those characters, and I don't think they'll care who wins or loses. So I think it will be like another Rayman vs. Spyro or Crash vs. Tie situation, but hopefully a little more, because. They are a bit more popular, like, as, as movie characters. People are more likely to have seen the movies than they are to play Crash and Spar because buying consoles and games is more expensive than buying tickets to a movie or buying a DVD. So more people are likely to know Stitch and Toothless than they are to know Crash, Spyro, Rayman, Ty, and all those characters. Ah, oh, man. I am so excited for that one. I can't stop talking about it. This is Ty vs. Crash. Th this is what happens when you do filler episodes. You don't know how to talk about them when you have to do commentaries for them. I guess I'll just like reminisce and like have a retrospective. I grew up with Crash first, definitely. 
And no, that's not why he won. I mean, I do... I do like Crash more. Especially Twin Sanity. Twin Sanity is my favorite Crash Bandicoot game. That game is so good, but it's so short. Sadly. They cut a lot of stuff because of time. That's why I wish, like, games weren't rushed or anything. I wish... You know what I want? If Crash comes back, I don't quite want, like, a new Crash game. I want them to, like, remaster Twin Sanity and then, like, include all the cut content. That would be incredible, like, completely... Not, like, just remaster it, like, upscale the graphics, but, like, completely remake it from the ground up. And then add all the content that was cut. And then release it for, like, PlayStation 4, Wii U, Xbox One. All that stuff. All that good stuff. That's how I want Crash to come back. Like, just with a fresh cr Crash to Insanity. To remind us of the Crash we loved. And then they can start with the new games to bring us a Crash that we'll still love, hopefully. And not do anything with Titans. Now, originally, I wasn't going to include the Titans. Because I'm like, aren't those outside help? But then I'm like, oh wait, Crash controls them with Aku Aku. And Aku Aku is a major part in Crash's character. He's been in every Crash game, I think. Yeah, I don't think there was a single Crash game without Aku Aku in it, so... Aku Aku's been there as long as Crash and Cortex. Mmm, I love this song. I, I only included this clip at the end because I just wanted to have like this piece of music in the episode somewhere. Spiral Mouth is such a good acapella band. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of acapella, but that was... I, I like that. I like them. Spiral Mouth. So They're good at music. Listen to some of the Crash Transcendent soundtrack and you'll agree. I promise there will be a battle so the cringe the fight is about to come up. Yep, there it is. And I have nothing else to say. Hope you enjoy this commentary. Next is Krillin versus Hihachi. Uh, see you next time.